Hey guys, this is my review of The Incredible Hulk. The most memorable thing about this movie for me was definitely the 7-Eleven days when they used to promote um, a lot of Marvel movies with uh, the, the Slurpee Cups. And I remember getting the um, Hulk one. I also remember when it came out on DVD, my dad got this like cool um, DVD. Um, it pa how it was packaged, it had Hulk punching through a brick wall and it had his fist and when you opened it, it was like these DVDs like of, you know, behind the scenes and extra stuff setting up, you know, the MCU and stuff like that. But uh, this movie for me definitely is, an, I, I mentioned in Iron Man, the movie review I did, that it was kind of like a guilty, guilty pleasure. This one is definitely a guilty pleasure for me. Um, I think it's very underrated. I know that there's a lot of like, um, you know, um, War Machine Rhodey um, kind of thing is going on here. You know, different actor um, playing a main character of the movie. Um, um, Edward Norton, I think his name is, that played the Hulk, um, Bruce Banner. I think, you know, the only thing was Agent Ross, that, um, not Agent, <laughs> General Ross is the only person that really came out of that movie later on in the MCU, but um, overall, this movie, I mean, alone, and, and uh, Abomination too, but like, I feel like this movie is one of those movies where, like, I know they mentioned it in the What If, but this movie felt to me like it was one of those movies where it's in the MCU, but it's just, it's its own thing too, if that makes any sense. Kind of like, you know, they're doing like with Venom, and if they bring up all these other movies, like all the Marvel movies and the Doctor Strange, hopefully, um, that's what it feels like to me. But that's a whole nother uh, theory. But my review of this movie is, um, same thing like with Iron Man, I felt like it was a little campy, um, a little, kind of dragged a little bit, but at the end of the day, the action was amazing. And I love the school, the, the college fight scene and um, the um, Harlem fight scene with Abomination and Hulk. That was amazing. I love it. it makes me kind of miss the old Hulk a little bit. But my overall rating for this movie would probably be a 6. No, maybe a 6.9. I know what you're going to say. 6.9 out of 10. But this movie for me is a guilty pleasure. And I love this movie a lot. And um, I do recommend it. Just if you're just, you love the Hulk, recommend this movie. Stay tuned for more MCU reviews.